Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an audio edit in Audacity. I'll do a beginner's tutorial that actually go over the basics of Audacity and as I said how to record and actually edit the audio. But first guys if you want you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So to start off I'm actually going to go immediately here to audio setup and to audio settings. Now here you want to make sure host here is on MME. Playback is just going to be here. The audio is going to be my speakers here. So basically my headset. Device one is going to be my microphone. But you can, for example, if you have a software that makes your voice better, like voice meter, select that one. But if it's just going to be your microphone, make sure that you select your microphone here. Then because we're going to only record the microphone here, we're going to leave it on mono. Otherwise you would want to go for stereo. Here, very important, just put them both to 48 Hertz. Make sure that this is on 32 bit float. And then here the buffer length and the latency. That is not really going to bother us. So let's just click OK here. And here's uh, down here, by the way, you have some little details like the tempo and the time signature. But those aren't going to be very important for this tutorial. Now up here, always make sure at what volume your microphone and your speakers is going to be. I generally uh, advise you to be around like around here, like 84 to 90 percent or like minus 8 to minus 6 dB. You can go to like minus 4, but don't go too low because it will actually be clipping. So the audio will be too loud basically and that is definitely something we want to avoid so don't go over, over like minus 3 db here so then what we're going to do here is go to tracks on new and do a mono track once again because we're going to record only a microphone so it's going to be mono here also by the way you can double check the information here as you can see mono 48,000 hertz and then 32 bit float you can just double check if that's okay and so here right here is going to be the recording button so i'm actually going to record a little bit of audio here i will keep a bit of silence at the beginning like a couple of seconds you'll see later on why and it's also something i could advise you in general to do every time you record audio so I'm just going to record a little audio bit here. So there you go. As you can see, this is what I just recorded. Let's listen to it. Now you will actually hear a difference because I'm recording with OBS right now and I'm actually using filters on my audio. So it's actually how to make your voice better with OBS. I actually have a tutorial on it up here in the right corner. You can check it out if you want. It's how to make your voice better within OBS with filters. But in any case here for this tutorial, make sure to keep in mind that this audio recording here has no effects on it whatsoever. Let's listen to it. So this is just a bit of audio recording for the tutorial. So there you go, there's a bit of audio there I can actually work with. So as you saw here, this was actually to record and this button is actually to stop the recording. But that applies also right now, if I, for example, do this, it's going to be play. This is going to be stop. This is going to be pause, so it's going to stop at the moment where I was stopping. Here you can see I can also just do a specific moment. It will keep repeating itself as well, it's just by dragging up here. But you do make to make sure that this tool here, the selection tool, is selected. I can also go backwards here or skip forward as you can see the cursor here is going back and forth. Now you can also hold control and actually use the scroll of your mouse to zoom in and you can also simultaneously do that up here but it's going to be less specific. Now you can also trim the end here just by dragging it and just taking it like this. We saw that from here we don't really need the rest of the audio. So I'm just going to cut it off here. Let's listen. Recording for the tutorial. There we go. We didn't really need the rest anyway. I can also say make sure that the selection tool here is selected. Just delete a certain part. So let's say for example right here. And just do delete on your keyboard. There you go. It will delete a certain part of the audio. I'm actually going to go back here. So the undo here which is also Ctrl Z. Because I actually need this beginning part here. Now if you listen to the, for example the audio here. You can for example think to yourself that it's a bit too quiet. So this is just a bit of audio. I think mine is okay, but it could be a bit louder. And so in case what you can do is actually double click here on the tracks, make sure it's selected, go to effect, volume and compression and go to amplify. This is actually going to make it louder. So here you can see a 9 dB. So let's just put this to this side here to make it a bit louder. So this is just a bit of audio recording. As you can see it became a bit louder, you also saw the sound waves go up a bit. You can also for example select this region again, go to edit, audio clips and split. And so as you can see here it will become two different audio parts and that's just how we can actually split it in two. And then you can actually take them both apart here. So now I actually go to the actual beginning part here that I mentioned earlier that I wanted to work with. Now this is actually to remove background noise throughout the whole audio recording. And basically when I select this area, I go to effect here and noise remover and repair and go to noise reduction here. You can also do noise gate, but I generally think noise reduction is a bit better because you can play around with the two. Now my audio doesn't need it that much, but it could definitely be better a bit. But if you for example have a fan or, or some very distracting background noises in your case maybe, I definitely advise you to use this. So what you want to do then is get noise profile and the first time. There we go. Now you actually want to select the entire track. You can just double click. And so we're actually going to go back here to effect. Noise remove and repair and do noise reduction once again. So now let's put it so something like 12 for example. So this is just a bit of audio recording for the tutorial. So this isn't okay yet. This is a preview as you saw. 
And basically, you don't want to do this too much because it will actually affect your voice. And it will deform your voice, your vocals a bit. So you don't want to put this too high. Once again, look this for yourself. Preview yourself in your case, which extent you want to put these settings here. So I'm just going to click OK here. And so here, once again, if you want, I can just play the audio here. So this is just a bit of audio recording for the tutorial. As you can see, it's quite quiet at the beginning. So that's very nice and, and this will actually be heard throughout the recording. So no matter how long the audio recording is, it'll actually remove that first part here that I highlighted where you can only hear the background noise. So make sure once again, you have those couple of seconds of silence at the beginning so that the noise reduction can actually distinct the background noise from when you're going to record your audio. So then when we're done here, we can actually go to file, save project and then save project as because we haven't saved it yet. It might actually say this, that it's an Audacity project, not an audio file. For an audio file to open in other apps, use export. So I'm gonna just do don't show this warning again. But basically means that we're gonna save the project here, but we don't have the audio file yet. This is just the project file. So I'm just gonna go okay here. Now this is up to you where you want to save it. But I just want to save it right now. I'm gonna call it audio one. I'm gonna do save. Now this actually works the same way if you want to, for example, import audio, do import here. And so now we're actually gonna export the audio so that it actually becomes an audio file. So I'm gonna go to export audio here. I'm personally gonna do export port to computer as you saw this is the one you can go for wave but i personally prefer mp3 right here because also mp3 files are the most read audio format out there so once again you can double check these settings here we saw at the beginning so it's a mono 48,000 hertz this can be preset this really depends i have had a lot of channels on 320 kbps in the past but you don't have to i think standard for now would be fine entire project of course and then we can do export now depending of course on how large your project is it will take longer otherwise it'll be pretty quick and so if you want to just open another one, you can just do open here. Or you can actually open the audio that we had here, as you can see right here. So there you go, guys. Some quick essentials here in Audacity. Hope it helped, of course. If you have any questions, leave them down below. In any case, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe, it would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.